Okay, so let's talk more about citations. Now, you could either outsource your citation building or do it yourself. Now, if you're going to do it yourself, what I recommend to do is use the trust template and mark down every citation that you build in there so you have a list of all the citations that you built and you don't accidentally do duplicate citation building. So with this list, it's going to be your master list and you could always refer to it if you want to hit some tier two links to it or go and add more citations down the line. Now there's a list of the top 50 citations I think every local business should be in and you can find it at the website localseoninjasecrets.com slash 50-top-citations. So what I would do is either do this myself or get an outsourcer and just send them this list and tell them you want your link on every one of these websites. Now the pros of doing it yourself is you can get it perfected to a T with all the keywords in there and you can make sure that you don't have to go back and do it again. Now the cons are building citations takes a lot of work and effort so it's just going to be a longer process. So you got to balance the two whether you want to do the work yourself or hire an outsourcer and it all depends on the budget that you have for the project. So if you want to outsource your citation building which I highly recommend I would use the following services to do so. Brightlocal.com, localcitationbuilders.net, localcitationservices.com, which is my personal favorite, belisted.org, thehoth.com, and another one of my favorites, whitespark.ca. Now, all these are going to allow you to outsource your information to a third-party builder for a lot cheaper and a lot more efficient than the cost of you doing it yourself. So keep that in mind when you want to outsource your citations. So what I want to talk about a little bit is how to research your citations to see which citations you need and which citations your competitors have so you can compare the two. The tool I like to use besides Bright Local is whitespark.ca-search and it's a free tool and once you input your data it's going to show you everything you need to get those citations that you don't have. Now for a local SEO ninja strategy that I use on all my web assets is Moz Local. Now this is amazing because for a short price of about 85 bucks a year for each asset, you can get your website listed in the top data aggregators out there. Now these aggregators Now these aggregators cost so much money to get into. Now these aggregators now these aggregators cost so much money to get into that for the price of 85 bucks, it's such a deal and it's worthwhile in the end. Now what these data aggregators do is syndicate your website onto paid websites that have high authority for citations. So it's a win-win situation and it's well worth the money. So go ahead and check out moz.com local and sign up. All right, so with press releases, all right, so with press releases, you only need a few quality press releases for your whole campaign. Now, I use the following. I use PressCable.com, which is a bit pricey, but it's really good as far as syndication. Now, if you just have an average budget, you can go ahead and use OnlinePRNews.com. It's great. Just pick out their social media plan, and I think it's $22. Now, with SEOClerks.com, just go in there and type press release, and you'll get a whole list of vendors. I like this guy SEO Gladiator. He does a good job and it's only five bucks. Can't beat that price. Now this URL below is just an example of the many press releases out there for about 50 to 60 bucks. Okay, so here's a local SEO ninja secret. What you wanna do if you're using Firefox or Google Chrome, go to the add-on or extension part of the browser and download this add-on Better GoDaddy Auctions by DomCom. What it does is give you analytics for the domains you're looking for in GoDaddy. So you can just type in a niche, get all the domains, and see if one sticks out as far as having a high PA or DA. Or they still use PR, but still, if you see something that's a PR3 in there and it's only six or seven bucks, go take a look at it, throw it in Majestic, and see if it's worth buying. And another add on I like to use is the Honey extension. Now what Honey does is when you're on the shopping cart page on the GoDaddy website and you're checking out, it's going to run any coupons that GoDaddy has out on the internet through the promo codes and find you the best deal.
Okay, so here's an example of a linking schedule for the PBM building. Now what you gotta remember too is you wanna switch them up. Okay, so here's an example of a linking schedule for a PBM build. Now let's say on day one you put a URL anchor and then you wait five days later, throw another URL anchor, and then three days later, put in your main keyword like city plumber. You know, wait a couple days and then throw in something like uh, this is a good plumber or I really like this plumber as a miscellaneous anchor. And then you wait a couple more days and then you can switch it up and put drain cleaning in city. So it's kind of niche related. And then you can wait a couple more days, probably two to three days, and you can drop a URL anchor in there. So it's kind of more branded to the URL and, and the keyword is actually in the URL, which is kind of cool and why we do the branded assets. And then after that, you can just throw in like a reviews or plumber reviews or check out this new plumber or something like that. So that's just a quick example of how I would build out my PBN links for one digital asset. Okay, so now for videos, here's a crazy fact. 74% of all internet marketing traffic in 2017 will be video. So that means people are gonna start getting used to video on websites and they're gonna start expecting it as well. Now what you wanna do is get a YouTube video on each page that you build out. Either you make the video or you just go grab it from one of the top positions on YouTube. So go on to YouTube search section and just enter a keyword and just pick out from one of the top two or three at the top right there. Okay, so let's go over some ways to make videos. Now the first way is you could just go ahead and go to Fiverr and hire one of those guys who are selling some whiteboard video. It works, but just try to have some more variety to your video selection. So here's an example of a service that I use. Check it out. I mean, for five bucks, it's a really good offer. Now what you wanna get as well are some voiceovers. So search on Fiverr and find a good voiceover that you like. And usually they can do about a minute long for about 10 bucks. Now, here's one of my favorite ways to make videos is just by using Kino or PowerPoint and making slides kind of just like this video. I mean, your video only has to be about a minute to a minute 30, so just put together about five or six slides and just have a voiceover going over the slides and you'll be fine. Now, Easy VCL or Easy Video Sales Letter is a great software I use. And what I do is I like to make about five or six videos at a time, each targeting a different keyword, yet going for the same URL. It takes me about 20 minutes when I sit down and do it. So I spread this out throughout the week and I target one URL at a time. And what I also like about Easy VCL is that it's so easy to use. You just gotta type some text and it's gonna print out a PowerPoint video in about two minutes. So remember though, when you're making these videos, you wanna record all the data in the video template. So whatever video you make, grab the URL and make sure it's in your video template. That way you can keep all the information in one place and just be really organized. Now here are some other solutions. They're a little bit more pricey, but the value is there. Check out animoto.com. It's gonna basically let you create some animation slideshows that are kind of like PowerPoint slides, but they do some animation and it's pretty cool. You could add some good text and some good call to actions. Also check out sparkle.com, S-P-A-R-K-O-L. It's a video production service and it's about $24 a month, yet you're gonna be able to pump out some really good quality videos for YouTube. 